a good part of my practice is, is digital dentistry. How, how has it expanded since we started 15 years ago? Um, it's, it's not just inlays and onlays. It's temporary restorations, temporary bridge work that we used to send out to a laboratory for them to produce. Implant restorations, implant planning. So we, we've taken the digital part of dentistry and we've expanded as far as it can go or at this day, as far as it can go. The CERC process is the same as an analog workflow. We're gonna anesthetize the patient. We're going to prep the tooth or remove any existing restoration. In my case, what, the way I do it is I do my rough preparation. Um, I place two layers of retraction cord to keep the tissue out of the way. Then I do my final preparation. I put my margin in the right place. I smooth off all rough angles. And then I remove the outer layer of cord. We get no bleeding whatsoever. Then I take my CERA camera. I scan the entire quadrant, the opposing occlusion. Then I get a buccal bite. Basically, the teeth closed. Um, and the camera just scans the, the buccal surfaces of the teeth. At that point, all my data gathering is done. Once the data gathering is done, the patient can sit up, they can rinse out. At that point, the software will generate virtual models. So the virtual models are produced, occlusion is corrected. I do some housekeeping on the software just to clean up the models a little bit. The software produces the restoration virtually on the screen because there are no real models to work with. I can manipulate the models in any which way, shape, or form. And then once I'm satisfied with the complete design of the restoration, what I do is I press the button that says manufacturer. It sends the data from the CEREC machine from the acquisition unit to the milling machine. And the milling machine would tell me how long it will take virtually for that restoration to be milled. So I wait that length of time. The burrs that are in the milling machine will mill away the porcelain that it doesn't need. And within that time lot, what happens is the crown will actually fall to the bottom of the milling machine. I'll take that crown, we'll steam it to clean off any oils that come from the machine, and then glaze it up and put it in the oven, then into their mouth and they just walk out, happy campers. Anytime you can do something with one visit, it's advantageous to both the patient and the dentist. So by using digital dentistry, we've reduced the amount of time that the patient has to be in the office. We've made it more comfortable for the patient to be in the office by not putting traditional impression material in their mouths and having them come back for multiple appointments to complete the restorations that we do for them.